In this video tutorial, you're going to learn the basic steps to show a diagram in a web page using JavaScript. We will also demonstrate how you can add the node list view control that enables the user to create nodes through drag and drop. We start by downloading the trial version of the JavaScript diagram library from MindFusion's website. After we extract the files from the archive, we select the UMD folder and all TypeScript files. The scripts in the UMD folder provide all functionality of the diagram control. The TypeScript files are not needed for coding the application, but they are used by our IDE, VS Code, to show IntelliSense support. So. We create a new folder for our project and copy there the files. We open this folder with VS Code. Let's add a blank web page. We add a new file and name it First Diagram. We'll have to place the code for a web page inside. Here it is. Now we are going to declare several CSS styles, which will be used by our diagram application. First, we have the class Sidebar Left, which will position the node list view. The main class is for the diagram. It will take the most of the web page. The last style is for the container, the div element that will hold both the node list view and the diagram. We declare a div element that represents the container and uses the container style. In it, we initialize a new div, which is for the node list view. The node list requires a canvas element to render itself onto, so we place one inside this div. We need to access it in code so we give it an ID. We declare a third div that will host the diagram. The diagram also requires a canvas, and we create a new canvas element and give it an ID as well.
Now we need to include the JavaScript files that represent the diagram, those from the UMD folder. We will include all of them, although for our basic application, we don't need them all. Finally, let's add a reference to another JavaScript file. We name it First Diagram. We haven't created it yet, but we will do this now. We add an empty file to our application and name it firstdiagram.js. Now let's start writing the JavaScript code for our application. First, we will reference the global TypeScript file. This will give us IntelliSense support in VS Code. We declare a namespace mapping for the diagram class. Yes, IntelliSense is working. That's good. We declare a new variable called diagram and handle the standard DOM content loaded event of the web page. In the event handler, we will initialize a diagram view instance, which will render our diagram. The diagram view needs a reference to the canvas element from the web page. As you remember, we have provided it with an ID exactly for this reason. The diagram instance is a property of diagram view. Let's set a colored brush as a background for our diagram, so we can see it on the page. Now let's load the page. We should be able to see the diagram. And here is our diagram. We can draw nodes and connect them. We have a ready to use diagram area that already allows the user to create a flowchart. Now let's create a node programmatically so that the diagram area does not load empty. Nodes are instances of the shape node class. The size and location of a node is set by the bounds property. We can add text to the node and use its brush property to color it.
Let's make it a darker blue. Finally, we need to add the node to the diagram items. And here it is. Let's add the node list view now, which will allow the user to create nodes through drag and drop. Let's go to the online documentation and check all the predefined node shapes that the diagram offers. Of course, you can add to the node list view any other type of node that you want. A container, custom node, composite node, table node, and more. In this tutorial, we will use only standard node shapes. We declare a list with three of them, Cloud, Cube, and Cylinder. Then we will create the node list view in the same way we created the diagram. We use the static create method of the class, which we provide with a reference to the DOM canvas element that we identify by its ID. In a cycle, we create now shape nodes that take one of the shapes we placed in the shape IDs array. We assign the nodes the same brush as the first node that we created in code. Finally, we add the nodes to the node list view. And here is the node list view. Users can use it to create new shapes with the nodes from the list. And that's all for this video tutorial. Thank you for watching and thank you for your interest in MindFusion Developer Tools.